Thank you. Is it okay like that? Thank you for this introduction. And yes, so I feel sorry that uh, this is me standing in front of you here today to present this, uh, uh, the work that we have done in Central African Republic with this MSFE care tool that we presented last year. Uh, Franck is a national nurse. He is there. He is uh, currently supervising the, the activity, and it would have been much better to bring the field's perspective and experience. Um, just also a note to tell you that uh, I apologize, I, we have switched the presentation uh, because then I will be doing two presentations of the, the different tools that we design with the same uh, technology and, uh, and uh, support systems. Um, but so I will first speak about the main project that was designed in this algorithm to improve the management of childhood illnesses in primary healthcare, and then give you the talk that was initially pr um, planned uh, first on the, the, the derivate tools we did for a vaccine campaign. So, uh, where is it? Here. Oh, everyone was doing very well. <laughs> okay, so you know that in our MSF context, when we talk about primary care, we talk about context where uh, we lack qualified health workers. These health workers have access to a very limited number of diagnostic tools, and that they work in an environment where the childhood mortality due to infectious disease is very high. And all this results often in an insufficient quality of care delivered to our patient, but also a huge overprescription of antimicrobials. And so in order to improve the quality of care and rational prescriptions of antibiotics for the children aged 2 to 59 months in the primary care, we developed uh, MSF eCare with um, a group of expert pediatricians. So uh, um, first, this MSF eCare is a clinical algorithm. So it's a clinical pathway that will state uh, very clearly the step-by-step -step procedures that the clinician should follow in order to appropriately identify the disease and prescribe the, the treatment uh, required. This is based on a simple syndromic approach, meaning that we only use sign and symptoms that the lay health worker we work with are able to recognize. And we only base the decision on uh, available resources in primary health care. <laughs> And this material was uh, transformed into an Android application that helped the clinician navigate through the complex protocols, help them to increase the adherence to the recommendation we make, and limit the interpretation that often occurs when we give the usual guidelines that we had developed before. So last year, we presented the, feasibility, the result of a feasibility study that was done just for a few days in Congo. But what we are uh, happy to share with you is that uh, thanks to Frank's work, we have implemented it now in three uh, peripheral health centers in Central African Republic. And that the 20, 24 health workers that we are conducting uh, consultation for under five are, are now using it. So this staff were uh, nurses and community health worker that were appointed by the MOH or the Comité de Gestion to, to handle this consultation. And to implement the tool, we have sent pediatrician for four months to prepare uh, the deployment and, and help in the training and implementation. But we also used the uh, actual uh, supervision team that was already there, and what, which was mainly uh, one expatriate midwife that is supervising all the activities in this peripheral health center supported by MSF, and Franck, so the national nurse, more in charge of the supervision of the pediatric consultations. The training happened in four days in each of the health center, one day of actual training, and then followed by three days of face-to-face -face supervision, where the supervisor helped the clinician in the first days of use uh, during the consultations. At the end of the training, two tablets were left by a health center to be used, and one solar panel had been installed so that they have power access. The three health centers have no internet access, so we have developed an offline peer-to-peer -peer data transfer system so that at each supervision visit, the supervisor can get the data from the tablet and bring them back to Berberati, where they are synchronized with our central server. Throughout the, this, uh, this intervention, we uh, try to assess whether the tool we had developed was appropriate with regard to the clinical uh, situation that the clinician encounters and whether the clinician were uh, uh, ready to follow the recommendation uh, given by the tablet in terms of diagnostic and treatment. We also monitor the level of use, looking at the number of consultation weekly, monthly, and also uh, referring it to the routine uh, health information system, looking at what proportion of the total consultation 
implementation are done actually with the tool. Then one of our main objectives was to improve the rational prescription of antibiotics. And to look at that, we have done some consultation observation before the introduction of the tool. Now we can also look at what data are automatically collected in, in the system because the clinician tell us what he finally prescribed at the end of the consultation. And because we knew that this was not uh, this collected the same way, we also tried to collect data from the routine consultation register where the clinician report the, the prescription and we compare a sample of 200 consultations before in January 2016 to 200 in January uh, 2017. And so here, since uh, at the end of November, we have registered in the system 5,300 consultations. And if we look at the consultation that were done at that time, we saw that if the uptake was different from uh, one health facility to the other, from February on, we have more than 80% of the consultation done with the tool. Uh, the median consultation duration that is recorded within the application was uh, six minutes uh, in this consultation with an interquartile range of four to 10 minutes. So uh, when we look at whether our tool was appropriate to cover the clinical situation and country, we saw that uh, the almost all reported symptoms in the system were addressed by MSF care. And in more than 98% of the consultation, a diagnosis and treatment was proposed uh, by MSF care. So it was offering a solution or uh, it was covering the situations. Now, when we look at the reported adherence, uh, in 96% of the consultation, clinicians say that they would follow the recommendation of the tablet, and this was even higher with regard to antibiotic prescription decision. We have just sent now an anthropologist to uh, uh, assess uh, more in deep what is the perception of the tool, not only from the user side, but also from the, the community and the caretakers. But already at the end of February, we uh, administered a questionnaire to the users. And what was interesting is to see that the majority of them reported that the tool was easy to use. Also, they had to get used to it in the first days that it had improved the consultation, and especially with regard to helping them in calculating the dose of the drug they wanted to prescribe. And their perception was that it was very well accepted by the community. And a lot of them asked us to uh, extend this, so bringing them some more tools uh, for other age groups, but also for other medical activities. So one of our uh, objective was to decrease the antimicrobial prescription and what we saw uh, in before the uh, implementation of the intervention, both through the register and through the observation of consultation, was that half of the patient coming for an acute illness were receiving an antibiotics. Uh, this is really uh, the same result that we find everywhere when we look at a health facility in sub-Saharan Africa where the proportion of fever due to malaria is high, still half of the patient receive antibiotics. And this we know is too much when we compare it to the etiology of fever study that we have, even if this is scarce. And after the introduction of uh, the, the, the tool, we managed to decrease this, uh, this proportion to uh, about 20% uh, when we look at the register and the, the, the full data set that we have. Now, another interesting thing in this, uh, in this uh, project is that uh, this decision super tool is also a data collection tool and that helps us to have some um, insight into the, I mean, we can look at what's happening in the consultation process more, more closely. And what is interesting is that when just looking at the proportion of the diagnosis we have, we can identify some problem. Here, what we saw is that in Gambula, proportion of lower respiratory tract infection was quite important and, and higher than the, the other and higher than we expect. And this is uh, something that we can take and, and then go back to the clinics and discuss with the clinician how they reach this high level of, uh, of a lower respiratory tract infection diagnosis. So to conclude on that, what we saw is that uh, this tool have a high added value. We had a positive impact on the quality of care and rational prescription of antibiotics. Discussing with the users and the supervisor, they had the feeling that this tool uh, had uh, allowed to bring some uh, um, knowledge that the clinician had received in previous training, but this bringing the tool helped them to actually apply this, what they had learned in their really in their consultation process, and that this was driving them through a, a, a systematic procedure that they could continue doing if we remove the tablet, because they learn by doing in front of the patient, in front of the specific clinical presentation. 
Um, and then it can help us better target the supervision we do. Uh, we had a lot of questions on whether this would be feasible and replicable in our MSF context. What we saw here is that it's, it's uh, as required a very limited technical support. Most of the technical support was taken by Frank there. Uh, also, he mentioned that it would facilitate his work if the tablet, I mean, if the center were connected to internet so that he would not have to do this process of collecting the data and synchronizing. Still, it was feasible within his, uh, his uh, workload. And all the supervision clinical support was integrated into the, the setup that was already there before the intervention. So, and the coordination team, supervision team, and users all ask us to continue and to extend uh, so that's also something positive for us. So now we are in a, in a phase that we face the challenge on how do we transfer this from the pilot to, to scale. And uh, we, we identify some key aspects that we still need to work on so that we can make it available for the users. We realize that we need to uh, strengthen the final version of the algorithm, but all, uh, also better allow the customization of it so that it can be adapted to different contexts. And we need to integrate this tool within the, the log, medical, and IT department so that they help us to maintain and update the hardware software, but also uh, make sure that we can uh, regularly uh, update our uh, clinical content. And that's what we are trying to do now to, uh, to, to create this, uh, this support to, uh, I mean, this, this, all this environment that to support the deployment in our MSF Switzerland missions, but also in the other operation centers that have uh, expressed their interest. So I'll just stop here. Thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks for all the people who are still and have been involved in the project. And especially thanks for Frank, uh, who is doing all this work in the field, and Sergio, who was implementing it. So, singila mingi.